Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are back working on this door, but on the other side. Let me show you what we're doing. So off camera, I've mixed the fairing compound just so that you, know, you guys won't have to see that part again. But we are gonna be doing the same thing that we did on the other side, which is fill in this gap straight through. And I took the trick that I learned of putting tape straight across the door so that I won't have to, you know, sand this whole part. I just have to sand where the edge is. And the main focus of this channel is fixing this hole that I made. If you look right here, this gap is not thin. Also over here, it's a little scraped off. And it's because when I used this tool here to get the, let me see. To get the door sanded in there, I took off a whole bunch of the metal on this side and a little bit on this side. So what I'm gonna be doing is filling in this gap to sand it flat and also adding a bit here. Well, not a bit, I'm gonna add a whole bunch so that I could sand it and make it as flat as possible. Putting this in and taking it out as I sand it so that I could get this as flat as possible. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. I've never worked with this kind of material in this way. So it's like body filler, filling that area in and sanding it until you get it to the right thickness that you need and get it nice and smooth. So in theory, it should be pretty simple to do. So let's jump into it and start doing it. I filled this all in like I did on the other side and over here I put I packed a whole bunch as you can see on both sides so that I could sand it and make it smooth I think I added way too much over here so I'm gonna take the scraper which is over there and just take off a little bit from the side there's no need for it to be that thick but I wanted to pack it thick and make it flat so I'm able to work that all in worst case scenario I just have to mix a little bit more and put it in its place and as you can see this is the amount that I had left from my mix which is there and there and it's uh it's a lot less from the first time so I guess I'm learning how to mix this stuff and how to make it just enough so yeah so in the next clip you will see me sanding this down
I just want to say this tool right here is the MVP of this whole door project right here. This and these two are two great tools. I'll leave the link in the description to these two tools if you're looking to do some kind of work with uh, the fairing compound. But this in those tight areas have become my best friend. And that tight area is over here in this door. As you guys saw, we filled it up a lot and then we let it cure and sanded it down to where we need it. We put a whole bunch and took off a whole bunch to keep that little bit as you can see right there. Where the wood is, is what stayed and where the green stuff is, where the fairing compound is, that's what we filled in to make it look good with the mortise lock installed. Let me show you the other side because that is the worst side. Look at that, it's all nice and filled. The line is nice and smooth and we're looking in good shape. Let me put it in so you guys can see with it in. There you go, look at it. I'm gonna overlay a before and this is an after and look how good and smooth that looks. It's much, much better and I'm happy with it. As you guys saw, I did have to use a hammer to put it in place, but as long as it's in place, it's all good. We'll hammer it when we're gonna put it in place forever, keep it in place and it'll never have to come off once the door is hung. But I am going to get the door painted first. Well, I'm going to hang the door and then get it painted and then install the hardware because I hate putting tape around the hardware while the painter is painting. So yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing on the next video. Uh, as for this video, this is pretty much it. I put tape along this area in certain spots because I'm going to have to fill like this spot here, this one here, uh, this here. It's a bit of pitting right here, a little bit here and this spot right here i in this area i laid it on really really thick to see if it makes a difference with the pitting and it, and it did when using this product i'm just gonna lay it on thick and sand what i don't need so i won't have to do double the work because here i laid it on thick and i sanded it to where i wanted it yeah i had to sand a little more but it came out good same thing with this so i'll do that off camera just because i showed that in the last video and i don't want to become repetitive so this fairing compound over here from total boat is great stuff if i have to say something negative about it it just takes really long to cure it takes three to four hours to cure depending on how you mix it and for some people that might take too long um they don't have a product that cures faster but i think if it takes longer the product is stronger and better so it has its upsides and its downsides but yeah so I'm really happy with how this door came out. Like I said, I'm gonna fill in those pits off camera, sand them nice and smooth. And for you guys, the next video, that's gonna be me installing the door and the painter coming to paint it. And then me installing the hardware permanently so we can have a brand new door in the apartment upstairs. And the door that's in the apartment now, that's gonna come down here to this basement. And I'm gonna finally have a door down here. So yeah, it's exciting stuff and I'm, I'm happy with the progress. So if you learned something new, you could show me by giving me a like. Any comments or questions, leave it in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing this door being hung and any other projects that I have going on, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.